Okay, again here, as we said in the uh, uh, previous uh, module, which, is, which was uh, embedded retaining wall, so we don't have any link to BIM uh, server center. Okay, and then again from here, you can review the, you know, the example. So you can go to here and you can see the option for, uh, let's say, cantilever retaining wall. And from here, again, you can specify the faces. Okay, but let me go back to uh, close this. So I don't want to save this. I will go back to a uh, project. Okay, once again, click on retaining all. So the concept is almost same. Okay, I will go to uh, file manager. So here, I want to make sure that I'm under retaining a wall uh, under project. Okay, so here, I will go to reinforce concrete cantilever walls. So under project. Okay, and from here, I will go to, again, add new project. So here again, twenty seven, twelve. Twenty twenty one. Accept. So same thing here. You have. Let's say uh, if you start from here, uh, I have the guidance again, but also you can start. You know from uh, let's say you know uh, from scratch. So let's say for this example, uh, show you know both options. So first I will go to uh, get the uh, let's say you know some help from the. Uh, software. So the, the, the second option is most frequent cases in a strip uh, foundation. So a strip foundation actually, which means here you have, you know, uh, the retaining wall, including the toe and heel. Okay, so here you have the toe and also you have the, uh, let's say, heel. Okay, and the next one is the most frequent cases in a strip pile foundation. So which means once you, uh, whenever you have the, uh, for example, shear key, so you can use the this option okay so let's go for uh, the second option so i will select this and then here you have the again information for this so you can say that the height of the wall for example here i can say four meter okay the thickness is uh, constant or variable so from here you can say that okay so it is the variable at the backfill or infill or without level like this Okay, so in this case also you can change this one. Let's go for constant. And then if you want to add the footing, so here we need to select the with toe and heel, but you can also say that, say that without toe and also without heel, for example. Okay, so but let's go for uh, with both uh, toe and heel. So let's go to next option. So here you have the soil at the infill side so you can uh, and also backfill okay so from here you can specify the type of the soil it can be gravel dense sand medium dense sand loose sand sealed and uh, hard clay or so on so forth okay and then here under footing so here you can uh, key in the uh, allowable uh, bearing pressure of the soil so here you can get the information from the geotech engineer again and then here you have the sliding is prevented so if you don't want to uh, uh, consider the, uh, let's say, a sliding um, of the uh, retaining wall, so you can check this option. So which means you don't want to uh, actually, you know, uh, check the sliding into account. Okay, so that's why you can check this option. But you want to see the, uh, let's say, a sliding uh, result as well. And thickness of the fill over foundation, so which means here, if you have any, uh, let's say, if you have any uh, soil at the top of this uh, toe at the infill side, so you can key in the value here. So I can click on this option, and maybe here I can say that, yeah, 0 0.3, for example. Okay, and then I can go to the next option. Okay, and here I have the load. So here, for now, I can say no load, or you can go for uh, light traffic or heavy traffic. 
Okay, so let's go for no load and then finish. Here I have the information that I uh, defined and then from here I can accept. Okay, so I have the, let's say this information. So I can go to face if I want to apply any load. So I can go uh, add the load to the backfield, for example, here. Again, I have the point load, uh, point load, line load, strip load, and uniform dead load, or let's say distributed load. And from here, I will go to add this, and then let's say 10 kN uh, per meter square, accept. So here I have this. So after, let's say, you know, uh, uh, complete your uh, model. So you can simply go to, again, you know, face result. And here you will get the information, just whatever, uh, same as whatever actually we showed you in uh, embedded retaining wall. Okay, and also you can go for worst case scenario. So here you have the 1.53. Okay, again, if you go back to project, and if you go to option, Okay, so here it is 1.5, the worst case failure plane. But right now, if you go to here again, okay, so here you have 1.53. So a little bit you need to, let's say, uh, rectify your model. Okay, and also you can see the forces again, just like embedded retaining wall as axial, shear, bending moment, earth pressure, and also hydrostatic. But definitely, if you want to change the uh, type of the retaining wall, so right now we have with a strip footing, which means we have actually now this. So if I go to fix, so which means here I have no, uh, let's say, uh, toe and heel. Okay, I will undo. And then if you go to capping beam, so which means with the shear key. Okay, so here I can specify with the shear key. Okay, so let's go back to here. And then I have the uh, general data. So from here, the, the wall height, four meter, right above the ground level. So I can say that, uh, for example, uh, 0 0.5. Okay, and then here I have the uh, wall lengths on uh, plan. And again, this is something like this. And here by default is uh, 10. So which means here I have 10 meter. And with uh, expansion join, so here if you have any expansion join, for example, so you can also consider uh, those expan expansion join in, into your analysis. Okay, so let's say here 5 meter. Okay, I will accept this. And then here I have something like this. Okay, and uh, similarly for the uh, soil, so you can go to general data. So here you can key in the information for the soil. Maybe here I can apply, you know, some angle here. Okay, and then I have something like this. And you can add the uh, layers. For example, here I can go to at another layer, I can say that soil layer uh, two. So at the elevation of, for example, three. Okay, so here I have this. And just again, like uh, embedded retaining wall, so you can delete the layers, you can edit the layers, you can copy the layers, and also you can go for hatching and coloring of the layers. Okay, for the wall, so here also you have the option for, uh, let's say, uh, changing the geometry of the wall. So here you have the uh, new span. Okay, so uh, for example, if I click on this, uh, the total height of this wall is four meter. Here I can say that, you know, the uh, uh, I want to create something, uh, for example, like this. Okay, so here I can use this option. Let's say here, I want to go for a three meter, the height of this new span, and then the top thickness. So previously we said that for this one, let me go back to uh, project data. And then here, if I go to, uh, sorry, if I go to general data,
Okay, so let me go back to a new span. Okay, so right now, as you can see here, so I have the uh, thickness of this wall as uh, 40 centimeter. Okay, so here I can say that, okay, go to uh, top thickness, I can go for uh, 50. Let's say here I can say that 25, 25, so total will be 50. Okay, and at the bottom, so I can go for uh, 35 by 35. Let's say I want to have something like this and then accept. Okay, so let me, and then from here I can come back to again wall. So I can edit a span. So for this one, I will edit, just click on this and then right click. Okay, so I have this. Uh, sorry, let me, what I did. So I deleted, okay, so I will go to edit. I will click on this. So for this one, I will go for the same thing, 25, 25. And here I will say 35, and then here 35. Okay, so let's say I have this one. And then also I can edit this. So I will change all of them to, let's say, here I will say, uh, 25, 25, okay, and then accept. So I can create something like this. So you can do, you know, uh, again, you know, whatever you want to do with the geometry of the wall uh, very easily. Okay, and also I can, you know, add the something like this. For example, I can create something like this. So it is all up to you. Just you need to go to uh, here wall, create new span, and then you can work with this uh, geometry. Okay, so let's say we have this, and then uh, I can go to the uh, face. Again, from here, if you want to add the loads, so here we can add the loads. And right now, once again, I want to go to uh, here, okay, to see the, for example, the axial force, okay, the shear, bending moment, air pressure, and also hydrostatic, I don't have. If you want to add the hydrostatic, so I can go to uh, project. Okay, and then go to, So by the way, here also you have, you know, all the information about the, uh, say, you know, reinforcement of the wall, foundation, and also footing, so which means, you know, the uh, cap footing. Okay, but uh, I'm looking for the uh, water. Okay, so it's here. So I can, uh, under soil, so you can go to the uh, general data, and then here the depth of the water table, Maybe here I can put, uh, let's say 3.5. Okay, so let's say we have the water up to here. Okay, again, I can go to the face and you can also, let me make it, uh, or let's say bring it upper. Okay, so here I will say 2.5. Okay, let's say I have the water up to here, and then go to here, and then here we will get the uh, hydrostatic pressure as well. Okay, and definitely again, you can go to the uh, reinforcement from here. Okay. 
Okay, so here you will get the reinforcement. So you can change the reinforcement as you wish again. And uh, for example, here, maybe you want to continue this reinforcement up to end of here. So I can go to this option. As you can see here, it is this. And from here, I can say that go to all over pad footing. Okay, and then check. So here, simply I can put like this. And again, definitely from here, I can go to drawing option. Okay, and the drawing. Okay, and from here, I will get the geometry of this say a retaining wall reinforcement and here also you have the uh, bar bending schedule as well and here you have the also information about the uh, model specification so for the code also let me show you how you can set the code so you can uh, come to this uh, option at the this portion so this you know, a uh, symbol, and from here, you have the code. Okay, so then, so here you have different codes, including the BS8110. Okay, so let's say accept the code. Okay, if I go back to here, once again, let me make sure, okay, accept. And from here, so you can, also get the reinforcement according to, uh, let's say, BS code. Okay, so it is for, uh, let's say, you know, uh, retaining wall. Uh, any question, uh, my friends? So it is actually, you know, easy uh, work with this uh, solution, but at the same time, as you can see, is, is very fle uh, flexible and also very powerful. So you can uh, design any type of uh, retaining wall uh, as you wish. Okay, so I will just uh, go to end up, uh, you know, the uh, session for retaining wall.